Good day, children. Today we are going to learn a new topic that is geometry. As the name says, geometry. Geometry is made up of two words that specifies geo is related to earth. That are the objects available in earth. Metry says measurement. That is, the objects around the earth which we can measure its length, its volume, its capacity or its physical quantity. Such type of figures all comes under geometry. So in the first part we shall know what are the basic components in geometry. As you can see here, the basic components in geometry are say, I draw a small dot like structure. This dot like structure or the small, when we say a tip of the pin, tip of the pin, it is called as point. The second is, if we had a straight path where on both the sides we have arrows provided, this specifies there is no starting point, there is no ending point. Infinite number of points are lying on this. This figure is called as line. Whereas, if we had one end point and other is infinite, it is called ray. The same way, a line segment is where both the end points are given. This is called as line segment. Now, few facts are there for between line segment, ray and line. In a line and line segment, line segment has a particular limit. Like, draw a line segment of 6 cm. But, nowhere the question will be said as, draw a line of 5 cm. Because line doesn't have any limit. Today, we are going to learn different types of lines and also how to draw a line segment. Here is a short video to explain different types of lines. So let us go. What are parallel lines? Parallel lines do not cross or meet. The distance between the lines is always the same. These lines are parallel lines. To show that lines are parallel, we draw a small arrow on each line. Look at these lines. The distance between these lines is not always the same. These lines are not parallel. Look at the lines on the grid. At one end, the distance between the lines is one grid square. At the other end, the distance between the lines is three grid squares. The distance between the lines is not always the same. The lines are not parallel. Look at the lines on the grid. The distance between the lines at the top is two grid squares. The distance between the lines at the bottom is also two grid squares. The lines are parallel. Line AB and line CD are parallel. 
To show that lines are parallel, we write this symbol. So for the lines AB and CD, we can write AB is parallel to CD. So in this way, we have learned what are parallel lines. Now let us learn what are intersecting lines. Look at the figure. When two lines pass through a single point, we call them intersecting lines. Two lines L1 and L2 pass through a point P, then L1 and L2 are intersecting lines, and P is the point of intersection. We can also define intersecting lines as two lines having one common point. A variety of examples around us has intersecting lines. So, here we have learned what are intersecting lines and what are parallel lines. If you see in your notebook, say if you consider a ruled notebook, you will see all the horizontal lines of the ruled notebook are parallel to each other. They do not meet each other at any point. But the margin, if you consider one line of the margin and one line of a horizontal line, you can see they are meeting at one point. Or when you see the tracks of the railway, they are parallel. Whereas, in a similar way, if you have a crisscross line, so, or you say X, they have called as intersecting line. Let us solve exercise and identify which type of lines they are. Here, let us see with the kickstart activity. That is, point is a which determines the location with a small visible dot. Say point A, point B, point C, point D. They are always denoted with capital A, B, C, and D letters. Line is a collection of points which end extends endlessly in both the directions. So we call here line AB or you can call it as line BA. Line segment is any fixed part of the line which has two endpoints and has a definite length. So here we call this as line segment XY or line segment YX. Ray. Ray is a part of a line, it starts one with one point and extends endlessly in other direction. It will not have a definite length. It is represented as ray LM. Let us exercise and find classifying them as line point and line segment and ray. And let us name them. We have the first example. That is point P. So we write point P as the answer. For the next one, it's the starting point is E and you have another is endless. So it is called as ray PF. Let us see how to name the other one. Yes, it is line segment. X, Y. Or you can also call it as line segment Y, X. The next we have line A, B. The similar way we have here ray S, R. Here you can see two endpoints are specified. So it is called Segment LM. PQ, where both the sides it is infinite. So it is called as line PQ. The next is H, which is point N. 
So in this way, we have identified different types of lines and accordingly we have mentioned them. Now, let us find out how many line segments are there in each of the figures. Here, how many line segments are there in each of the figures? We have one PQ, QR2, RS3 and PS4. So there are four line segments. Let us see for the next one ABCD. We have one AB, BC2 and CD3. So there are three line segments. Now let us identify for the figure C. We have OL1, LM2, MN3, NO4, OM5 and LN6. So there are six line segments. Let us see question D that is line segment AB1, BC2, CD3, DE4, EF5, FG6, GX7 and AH as A. So we have eight line segments for question D. Now let us identify the lines and rays in the given figures. We have here line IL, line KJ. Now let us identify the names of the rays. That is ray OK, ray OL, ray. O I and ray O J. So there are four rays and four columns. Now let us solve the next question in the similar way. Question B. Here let us find the line. Line O A is the line. We cannot say line O, B or O, C since they are not in a straight path. Now let us name the ray. We have ray O, B, ray O, C and ray O, A. So there are three rays and one line. Now let us go ahead with the parallel lines question. Here, let us identify the following lines are parallel or intersecting. So, we shall write the answers alongside the questions. Line PQ and RS. As the figure you can see, they are parallel. So, you will say they are parallel lines. So next, second, we have O, M and another line, they are meeting at a point. So they are called intersecting lines. Line A, B and C, D, they do not meet each other in any point. So they are called parallel lines. Whereas WY and ZX meet each other at point O. So they are called intersecting lines. Line XY, line PR are parallel. So they are called parallel lines. Line ED line FD meet each other at a common point D. So they are called 
intersecting lines. In this way, we have learned what are parallel and intersecting lines. Now, let us know how to measure a line segment. Now, let us see how to draw and measure a line segment. Drawing and Measuring Segments Good morning kids. Today, we are going to learn how to draw and measure segments. Before that, let us learn about the instrument used to draw and measure line segments. We use a ruler or scale to draw and measure the length of line segments. It has markings in centimeters. Each centimeter is further divided into 10 smaller divisions. Each division is equivalent to one tenth of a centimeter. It is called one millimeter. Kids, remember, one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. One centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. Now, let's see how to draw a line segment. Draw a segment MN of 4.8 centimeters. This can be done in three steps. Step 1. Take a ruler and mark point M at 0 centimeters on the ruler. Step 2. Next, mark point N such that it coincides with the 8th division after the 4 cm mark on the ruler. Step 3. Now, join the points M and N to form line segment MN and mark it as 4.8 centimeters. Now, let's solve another example. Draw a segment AB of 7.7 .7 centimeters. Segment AB of 7.7 .7 is drawn like this. After learning about how to draw line segments, let us now focus on how we measure the lengths of line segments. Let's measure the length of segment MN. Keep zero of the ruler at point M. We count forward from 0 to 15. Look, point N of the segment coincides with the sixth division after 10 centimeters on the ruler. Thus, we say that segment MN is 10.6 centimeters long. We read it as length of segment MN is equal to 10.6 centimeters. We write it as shown. So in this way, we have learned how to draw a line segment and measure its length. Now let us solve one short example to draw a line segment. Now, here is a line segment drawn in front of you that is segment A. Let us find what is its length. So, I am going to take one ruler and as you can see the ruler has the division starting from 0 till say 15. So I shall start with point A at 0 and I shall measure the distance. So it shows 30 centimeter. So this is line AB or line segment AB. The length is 
30 centimeter. In the same way, let us draw a line segment of 9.5 centimeter. Here, we are going to draw a line segment of 9.5 centimeter. So, I am going to trace at point 0 and drag till 9.5. So, I say this segment is TB which is of distance 9.5 centimeter. Now, let us draw a line segment of 24 centimeters. Say, I call the segment as X1, which is 24 centimeters. So, we shall keep one point at 0 and mark 24. And finally, you will drag the line joining these two points, which is line X1. Measuring 24 centimeters. In this way, we have learned today what are different types of lines and how do we draw a line segment and measure its length. We shall meet in the next class. Thank you. Good day.